config 2023 is officially crazy the features that we've been waiting for years they are already here and you can already test them on your organization it depends on how many collections for the variables you can create based on your plan but basically if you go into your files on your right side local variables and you click this you can see all your variables or all your uh, collections of variables in here which uh, someone might call tokens like I do and basically how you can use those is for example if you create a section let's just name this into light mode and that is going to make a lot of sense later uh, let's get maybe a frame in here and add some border radius to probably 20 pixels we can create that into a variable let's call this base radius and from now on we can share that variable in between all the components and let's maybe use some other background if you click on the plus here you can create a, a new one or i didn't select anything yet but let's just do some light very light teal and call this base background and it is set maybe add some text hello world that text can have again a new variable maybe base text now when creating other objects within this uh, frame you can just basically do your shape select the style let's create a new variable call this accent and maybe choose another color like this create and we have our shape if you put this into an auto layout it gets even better because now basically you can uh, save even your gaps or spacings in between those into variables you can apply a variable in here if you don't have one you can create but basically all those that use numbers can be shared we can call this maybe just a base gap and has a 20 pixel space is going to adapt that later on when i add it we can create a new variable and call this maybe uh, inline bedding which has 10 pixels you can do the same for the vertical or block padding variable let's keep that into 10 as well now when i select that object and just duplicate you can see that the gap is of course as the uh, the one that I specified on the variable but the best feature that we've been waiting for years is finally here the lives are saved we're gonna be able just to do components on a whole another level by just selecting your wrap button and now when you resize that component you can see that that is wrapping but let's add this also into an auto layout and we can even use now some base or just yeah yes use base gap you can share those beddings or whatever you want. You can use pretty much anything like that. But maybe we want some more in here to just make it look a bit better. Now when you grab that whole section uh, that we mentioned before, if you have here the variables which are listed as light, you can select that and duplicate that. When you duplicate that, you can name it into dark mode. Let's change maybe the background into something yellowish. And this accent maybe into something blue. Also, you can change the numbers. So we can maybe change the gap into 40 pixels. Inline padding to 80 pixels or something ridiculous, just so we see the change. Whenever you select now the section and you duplicate that, you can change the whole variable set by clicking the change variable mode on your right uh, sidebar and i have those saved as dark mode and you can see the difference and what is happening there which basically i have some ridiculous padding here okay this is wrong you can go to your local variables and you can change that from 80 to 20 maybe and you can see how everything is adapting let's change this back to 20 and just amazing to be able to do this and whenever you grab your component you try to drag that into the other section you can see how instantly all the variables get updated and then another very important aspect of this is the developer mode whenever you click on this button on top right then you can mark a 
section as ready for development. If you copy the dev link, you can go to your browser and open that or share with the, a developer like myself. And basically you can just click anywhere on the component, inspect that if it's using a variable, you can see that in here and it will have a fallback for each one of those, which is just completely different and amazing to be able to do. Where it gets even better for the whole development process, if you go into the VS Code, you can install the Figma um, extension, authenticate with that, and uh, you can find here your files. In this case, I named mine config23. You can still see pretty much the same view, but directly on your workflow while working on VS Code, you can switch in between, uh, for example, your Explorer or Figma and uh, just a whole other level of working. In here, you can see the variables as well. You can inspect pretty much everything, see maybe the variable names and how those are being used. And even better, the assets can be exported directly. If you click into the assets panel, you can export that and basically use it on your project from here. Another good aspect of this whole thing is the prototyping, which basically if we go into design mode and then we select our component, we want to prototype. Uh, you can select that and connect it just for the sake of this demo. Now, when you want to preview, instead of how we used to do present mode, you can just click preview. You will see that directly into your file. And this, ladies and gentlemen, just changes the way how we work on Figma. And for me, is the biggest update yet. Exporting variables or uh, tokens and all those kind of features will explore into another video. And uh, from me to you, have a nice Figma session. Peace.